video refs are coming. The 2018 World Cup is probably going to be chock full of VARs. If a game is to be delayed, the referee must perform the TV box signal to make it clear the video assistant referee is watching. VARs will look into four areas of calls made by the referees. These are direct red card offenses, penalties, goals, and cases of mistaken identity. The referee communicates with the VARs via headset and can directly act based on their advice. They can also pause the game and review the incident on a screen beside the pitch. The referees can then make a decision based on the new information, such as red carding a player, awarding a penalty, or disallowing a goal. Whether or not the information from the video review is used remains at the match referee's discretion. The tech has been shown to be accurate, but it can delay a game by several minutes, which fans and players love. Meaning, even with better science, refs still can't catch a break. Stick around for more sports stories. Not so smart after all. FIFA unveiled their new 2018 World Cup match ball late last year to much fanfare, with much press heralding it as a smart ball. But just how intelligent is it really? The Adidas Telstar 18 features a near-field communication chip. When the ball is tapped by a smartphone, it will show users personalized content. This feature is designed for consumer use and not World Cup matches. This gimmick is not going to give you a forensic breakdown of how to improve your shooting, but it'll let you access tailored smartphone content, all for 165 bucks. Cha-ching! The Telstar 18 is also made up of six thermally bonded panels, each layered with a 3D textured surface. This is said to provide players with greater control in different weather conditions. The ball's design is based on the iconic black and white Telstar ball from the 1970 World Cup ball. In other words, it's an upgraded modern take on a 70s classic. Chelsea Stadium Plan Suspended A family cottage has halted development on a new stadium in an upmarket area of London. Chelsea Football Club's plans for redevelopment of their Stamford Bridge Stadium has been suspended as it may block a local home's right to light. As the name suggests, that's a right for English landowners to receive light on their property. The concerned household believes the new stadium could affect sunlight and daylight. Plans for the £1 billion project got the go-ahead last year from London authorities. Officials will reportedly meet on Monday to discuss how to proceed. The new stadium would reportedly be capable of hosting 60,000 fans. Flexible NFL Helmet Designed to Reduce Concussions this NFL season, about 70 players are wearing a new state-of-the-art helmet designed to lower the risk of concussions. The Vices Zero One was specifically designed to soften the blows NFL players take to their heads during games. The helmet is made of four different protective layers. The outer shell is made from flexible thermoplastic that compresses to absorb shock, then rebounds, much like a car bumper. Next is a layer of more than 500 polymer columns that can twist and move laterally, reducing the impact of rotational acceleration, a major cause of concussions. Underneath that is a hard inner shell that helps prevent skull fractures and brain hemorrhages. Below that, a layer of memory foam provides the player comfort. About half of NFL teams have put in orders for the Vice's helmet. NFL players get to choose their own helmet from an approved NFL list. The league has been looking to address concussions, especially as it has faced increasing scrutiny. Medical experts and players are concerned that repeated concussions increase the likelihood of developing CTE, a degenerative brain disease.